Hey YouTube, um, I wanted to go over some things that are happening in my grow room right now, um, specifically some pinning. I remember um, just a couple months ago I wasn't sure of exactly what pinning looked like. Like I'm talking the very very beginning um, stage and phase of pinning. Um, so I have a few bags I believe that are pinning now. Also I've got some uh, king trumpet uh, or king oyster mushrooms right now that have some blotch and I didn't know exactly what was causing that now I, I know so I wanted to show you some blotch and um, hopefully give some ways that you can prevent it or, or at least try to minimize it and I think that's pretty much it um, I might actually while I'm in there just show you how I harvest a few things but I'll see how I do on time so stay tuned if you want to see some things happening in my grow room Okay, so I have put my mask on. I hate doing videos with the mask on, but I do have a fairly high spore count in here right now to the point where I can still see the spores. Um, but anyways, these are king trumpets right here. Um, got some bags that haven't started to fruit yet. But, um, and I, I had a whole lot more. This is a, kind of the end of my king trumpets. But I wanted to kind of show what this uh, blotch looks like. Let's see if I can get this clear. So the blotch is here. And, oh, I wish I could make it a little bit less fuzzy. Eh, there we go. Okay. So you can see that kind of brown striation there. So that's blotch and it's caused by a couple of things. So one of the reasons that it, it could have some blotch is uh, humidity. Airflow could be another one, um, but I think for me it was big changes in humidity and in the airflow actually. So I've kind of started experimenting with these. One school of thought is that you can kind of thin them out as they're pinning. Um, I'll show you some pins here. So when they start to pin, there are these little teeny pins, actually start obviously smaller. Um, you can see some more here. Um, but anyhow, so once they start pinning and you kind of see where they're going to form, you can um, either like kind of thin them out um, and that will just make much larger, uh, thicker mushrooms, which I kind of personally like. Some people decide to just let all of them grow. The problem with that is the airflow. So you can see they're all kind of clustered together. There's not a whole lot of air circulation around there. And so I noticed that my ones that I had blotch were all the ones that I didn't like quote unquote prune. Um, so that's going to be something that I want to do going forward is to kind of thin them out so that the shrooms themselves are bigger, thicker, and that there's less likely uh, blotch. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm going to start pruning and then keeping, again, keeping the humidity level about the same. So that is for the kings. I want to show you up here. This is, I think this is a um, blue oyster mushroom here. And um, so you can see, so I knew to look for pins like that, um, you know, when I first started doing blocks. What I didn't know to look for are these. Like that's the very, very beginning of pinning. I'm going to get as close as I can without my camera. There we go. So hopefully you can kind of see that, <laughs> um, that kind of gray, that grayish um, area. That's the very, very beginnings of pinning. And it was a little bit harder to see in some of my other blocks because of the previous uh, um, bag material that I was using. Um, there's actually another king over here. Let me go down to another one. So again, you can really see the actual, like, you know, the, the, that's the mushrooms actually starting. But under there, it's a little hard to tell, but that's actually some more, some pins that are just starting. And, uh, and I've got some that are kind of growing down. I, my cut here is sideways. So that's another thing I've been experimenting is with different kinds of uh, cuts. So all of these are kind of coming in. They were all um, batched on the same day, but they're all kind of coming in at different times. So that one there should be ready to harvest probably 
I don't know, maybe tomorrow night or the, the next day at the latest, they grow really, really fast. Um, these here, I should definitely harvest like today because what you don't want is for the caps. You can see this cap here starting to flatten out a little bit. You want the caps so that they're a little curved still. At least that's, you know, how they look the best and probably taste the best before they start releasing a lot of spores. So that little cluster there is probably ready to go. Um, now these, um, these, these blocks, I, I can tell that that's not a whole lot. I mean, that might be less than a half pound or about a half pound. These blocks here are all lime pasteurized blocks, and that means they're not sterilized, and I also, uh, they're also not supplemented, no bran or no soybean hulls. And uh, I also used old spawn with it, like spawn that was like more than 30 days old. So, you know, it was just like a good experiment. I didn't have to, uh, you know, throw away my spawn. So here are some golden oyster mushrooms. And here is how they start. Um, actually, I'm going to see if there's a better one. They kind of start off looking kind of funky. And um, those right there are ready to harvest. They might even be a little past. Um, I don't know, they're, they're probably about right. Um, here's some other ones back here. I'm going to see if I can find one that's just starting. Oh, okay, here's one down here. It's, uh, let me back up here and make it a little brighter. Um, so you can kind of see there, it's like this little, little blob. <laughs> It's not like a pin set like with the blue oysters. It's just it's a little different. Even that one looks really good. A lot of times it starts off kind of gray. And there's a nice cluster back there. It's definitely looking good, ready to pick. But um, yeah, it just starts off as this little, you know, round little ball. All right, so that's what's going on in my grow room the beginning of the year, 2018. And um, just keep staying tuned. I do want to do... Um, a video or some videos on preparing blocks, um, but I've got a spawn that's on its way, so um, I'll probably actually make the blocks themselves and sterilize them, um, either, like shortly before I get them. I think they're coming next week, so I'll show you how to make blocks or how I do them, and um, some other things here around the, uh, the fungi house. Take care and have a great day. Make sure that you like the video and subscribe if you want to keep seeing more um, things that what I'm doing here. Take care. Thanks for watching.